In this video, I'm gonna be trying out Alexa Demi's diet and workout so that I can also be a skinny Euphoria character. Bitch, you're my soulmate. Alexa Demi plays Maddie Perez in Euphoria and she is Nate's on and off girlfriend. She has a banging bod, looks beautiful, and is super confident, and I wanna be just like her. Wait, what? Keep watching till the end if you wanna see my amazing before and after results. What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Cassandra, if you didn't know. Today we are gonna be starting Alexa Demi's diet and workout for a week. Honeys, we are gonna be starving. Holy cow, because she does not eat carbs. No carbs, nada muchada. We don't eat carbs, too, please. Literally just vegetables and protein the entire day. <sighs> If you guys have been watching me for a while, then you would know that I'm actually gluten-free. So it's actually not so bad because I generally speaking do not eat so many carbs. It's just more to have that option taken away from you for a full five days. Holy cow. For those of you who don't know who Alexa Demi is, she's best known for her role as Maddie Perez on Euphoria. Demi was born in Los Angeles, California, and she actually didn't have the easiest time growing up. Apparently, she ran away from home as a teenager to escape the toxic family life. And even during school, she was bullied and considered herself to be quite a loner so she didn't have too many friends before auditioning for euphoria she had actually planned on taking a break from her acting career in order to pursue her music career but luckily she was impressed by the script and so she decided to go and audition and of course she got the role of maddie paris i feel like i would look so sexy pregnant now that you know everything about demi we can get on to her diet and workout and see how she keeps fit and sexy and slim and all those good things I'm gonna start off by telling you guys the routine that I'm gonna be doing over the next five days. Obviously, I'm gonna be following her diet and her workout. Firstly, for her diet, for breakfast, she likes to have juice, two poached eggs, and avocado. For a snack, she has a protein shake. For lunch, she has a salad. Evening snack, fruit. Dinner, chicken or turkey and veggies. And then as a late night snack, she might have a protein bar. That's optional. Literally not a single ounce of carbs. I don't even see much dairy. I mean, I am obsessed with milk. I'm obsessed with coffee. And apparently she, she's just not having it. At least the one positive thing that I can say is that it does seem like quite a lot of food. I know it's a lot of vegetables and things, but at least you're constantly eating throughout the day. So I probably won't be so hungry. I think. And then for her workout, she likes to do 40 minutes of cardio every day. <gasps> Say what? Oh my god. Don't worry. This is just the beginning. Yoga for 40 to 60 minutes three times a week. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then she does her ab workout routine, which takes another 25 to 30 minutes. Holy cow, I don't think I've ever worked out that much in my entire life. <laughs> Pray for me, seriously. So before we get started with everything, I figured I should show you my before. So this is me right now at this moment. It is actually currently Monday. So this is my Monday morning little poochie. Honestly, my main travel zone would definitely be this region because I'm always bloated. I'm always constipated. <laughs> constipated, dare I say. Oh, gross, but it's the reality. I have major digestion problems, so hopefully this no carb life, this super healthy egg life slash turkey chicken life is gonna make a difference for me. Let's see what I'm gonna look like in a week's time when I finish Demi's diet and workout. Let's do it. I'm actually pretty hungry, so I'm pretty keen on eating some breakfast, but the problem is, is that I don't have any avocado in the house. So I'm going to do my 40 minutes of cardio and walk to the shops. It's about a 20 minute walk away, so it's perfect because I do 20 minutes there, 20 minutes back, and that should cover my 40 minutes cardio for the day. Let's go and do our grocery shopping. Honeys, let's go. <laughs> it says that she always has a juice with her breakfast. So I got this one. It is red goodness It's got cherries cranberries peaches berries and pomegranate now for the real test. It's really thick. Oh No Mmm, oh crap, I didn't realize that I bought a smoothie. Oh no, I thought that I was doing a juice eh, Honestly, I think I might add some water. Let's do that 
give that a little stir. Stir it up, baby. Way better, way less sludgy and intense, so love it. I'm gonna drink this and I'm gonna prepare my two poached eggs and my avocado. The only problem is, is that I only have a pan, I don't have a pot. Yeah, so it's slightly problematic, but I'm thinking that I'm going to just add a lot of water to my pan and try and make poached eggs that way. Wish me luck, let's see how this turns out. Okay, people, breakfast is served. Born apple tree. Kind of tastes like watery eggs that's pretty much exactly what poached eggs are i don't know why people like poached eggs they really are not nice they're just watery and gooey Ugh. i much prefer a fried egg or a scrambled egg mm, way more up my alley i also don't really like a runny yolk just just not runny if that makes any sense. Anyway, my first poached egg was clearly a disaster. It just spread everywhere. But then I found when I didn't stir the water, the egg kind of stayed in one spot and it was semi-poached. And actually it turned out pretty well. I mean, it's a bit gooey, it's a bit soft. I think that's how it's supposed to be. I put some pepper, everything but the bagel. My favorite spice of all time. And what else did I put? Oh yes, some garlic powder. She does normally eat a whole avocado at breakfast, but I can only eat half an avocado because otherwise I'm gonna feel a little bit sick, a little bit nauseous. But if you wanna follow her diet to the T, then she does eat a whole one. It is officially time for me to do Alexa Demi's ab workout. Now I did a bunch of research online. I found that she likes to do the same ab workout five times a week. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know how far I'm gonna be able to get through this because it looks very very intense I'm gonna put a screenshot of the workout for you guys up on the screen So if you guys want to pause the video and screenshot that you can try it yourself at home for her ab workout She does reps of 25 seconds with 15 seconds of rest and then after Completing a full set she takes one minute rest and she does three sets I don't know if that made any sense, but I'm gonna show you guys all of the different ab workouts that she does right now. Let's see how much I suffer and how far I get. She's literally crazy. I don't know how she does this every single day. She must have abs of steel. Honestly, I finished two sets and I didn't do the jumping burpees at the end. I just couldn't. My arms are so dead. My abs are dead. My legs are dead. I wouldn't say that her ab workout only focuses on the abs. It literally is like a full body workout. Like I'm telling you, I am drenched in sweat. I'm not gonna lie. When I was busy doing all of those jumping squats, I could feel the egg and the avocado coming up inside my throat. So I would recommend waiting a bit longer between breakfast and working out 
full workout before breakfast because <laughs> it is not a pretty feeling. It is now 12 p.m. and I'm currently having my protein shake. This is her morning snack. She always likes to have a protein shake. I do not own a blender because I've recently moved into this apartment, so I am still getting set up with my life. But this protein shake is actually really good. I got it at the Metro. And what I like about it is that it's got whey protein powder, which is the protein powder that I usually use when I make my smoothies. Mmm, it tastes like dessert. So good. Best part of the day! Oh, I'm so happy right now. Yum! Honestly, I'm feeling really full. Like, I don't know how she actually eats as much food slash has so much time to have this much food. I know she probably has people making her food for her, but I can't imagine that she eats like every two hours. It just, oh, it's so time consuming. I may or may not skip out on lunch. Lunch is literally just a little salad. It doesn't even have protein in it. It's basically lettuce leaves. So I don't think it's going to make much difference to my life. I think I'll rather just have the snack in about an hour's time, which is going to be fruit. Mm, my favorite thing, y'all. Mm. It is now 3 p.m. So it is time for me to have my afternoon snack. I did land up skipping out on the lunch, but that's because I had my breakfast really late and my snack really late. So I wouldn't do that on a normal day. Usually lunch is actually one of my favorite meals of the day. I like a brunch, like a late breakfast is always my go-to because I'm not really a breakfast person to be honest. Anyway, so for a snack, I went to the shops and I found some pineapple on sale. So I decided to go for that. And I also have some pawpaw or as they call it here, papaya. So I'm just going to chop up some of the papaya and the pineapple and I'm gonna have that as my afternoon snack. Yeah. back on the floor ready to do more exercise. I don't think I've worked out this much in like five years or possibly in my life. But this is actually the exercise that I'm most excited for. I la 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 yoga so much. I think it's so relaxing, so calming. I find my mind is always so crazy busy. Even at night when I go to bed, I'm like constantly thinking and I can't stop thinking and my boyfriend always has to like tell me some kind of calming mantras so that I stop thinking so much. I think yoga isn't only a great workout for the body, but it's also an amazing workout for the mind. I haven't been so good lately, but I used to do a lot of yoga and now I'm so stiff. It's so bad. Anyways, so we're gonna get started with doing a little yin yoga class just to kind of relax before making some dinner. I just did like an hour of yin yoga. I love it because it releases all of the stress from your body. My muscles feel relaxed, my joints feel relaxed. If you're a stressed out person, you have to do yin yoga. You're gonna love it. And now I have to somehow get myself off the floor and start cooking dinner. I feel like I've been cooking the whole day. Oh my gosh, I'm already starting with my stressed outness. I need to oh, remain zen. Let's see how long this lasts for. Welcome back to the kitchen. Woo! It is officially dinner time. So Jaden is going to be coming home from work soon, so I wanted to have something nice cooked for him. I was going to make eggplant slash brinjal, whatever you call this, but I don't think that he likes it. So I think I'll save this for myself for another day. This beautiful baby eggplant. 
eggplant. This is such a cool thing, right? I mean, can you believe that Mother Nature grows something that is that looks like this? Anyway, not to get off topic, so I've decided instead of making the eggplant, I'm gonna make the salad that I initially planned on making earlier. It's literally just gonna be some lettuce, feta cheese, herb seasoning, and some vinaigrette. And then I'm gonna make us some chicken with mushrooms. I'm probably gonna add in a couple of spices along the way, but I'll see how I feel, so let's get cooking. This looks actually, I'm quite impressed with myself, yum. I put a Greek vinaigrette on the salad and it is, it is fire. It is so good, yum. My chicken is hot. Juicy, tender, flavorful. Call me Chef Cassandra, holy cow. It is officially 10 p.m. It's actually pretty late at night and I still need to go and have a shower and get ready for bed. But I was kind of craving something a little bit sweet because every night I like to have a little bit of chocolate or a snack or something delicious because I feel like there's no point in living unless you have something delicious every single day. And then I remembered that she always has a protein bar at night before bed as like a late night snack. Obviously it's an optional thing. I'm not necessarily gonna do this every single night. I might have half, I might have the whole one of this builders protein bar it's got 20 grams of protein and it's really high in calories i don't know if she always eats this much late at night but this is what it says online so i'm trusting the internet i've had cliff bars before but i've never had their protein bars let's see how it is oh it looks good that looks really really good actually like super chocolatey Mmm, yum. Okay, so guys, that was day one of Demi's diet and workout routine. Honestly, I quite enjoyed it. So I don't think the next four days are gonna be too bad. I feel like she's got a very realistic, healthy approach to diet and lifestyle. But I'm gonna see you guys in a week's time to see what my results are and whether or not my body changed at all. It has officially been one week since I started Demi's diet and workout routine and I cannot wait to show you guys my amazing results. Before I show you guys my results, I just wanted to say a few things about the diet and the workout. Honestly, I can say that the diet is seriously sustainable. It's really easy. All you do is eat a bunch of vegetables and protein. You can also adjust it however you want because she doesn't specify like what vegetables. You can eat any kind of vegetable. You can eat as much as you want. It's basically just a no carb diet. Honestly, there wasn't a day where I was hungry. It was more days where I was having cravings. Like I was really craving some Doritos or I was craving some milk chocolate or my chocolate covered almonds that I love. The worst part is the lack of coffee. I mean, I didn't drink coffee now for five days and I'm actually going crazy. I got some serious headaches on the second and third day, but those do go away. And actually I woke up feeling better for it, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm looking forward to my cup of coffee tomorrow. <laughs> However, on the exercise side of life, Let's just say it's slightly unrealistic. If you work any kind of job or you go to college or you go to school, you're not gonna be able to be doing 40 minutes of cardio, 40 minutes of yoga and a 30 minute ab workout. It's just crazy. So I would recommend picking one of the three and doing one of those per day. So you could do yoga five times a week or you could do yoga twice a week, ab workout twice a week and cardio once a week. Do whatever makes you feel good. I'm feeling really, really great. It's not only about my body, it's about my mind. And I did a lot of yoga with which always calms me down and keeps me zen. So now for the after results. This is my body at the moment. I decided to put on the same shorts so that you guys can compare my waistline and the shape of my body. My stomach is feeling kind of flatter these days, especially in the morning when I wake up. I can feel a big difference. I'm also going to the bathroom a lot more. Probably all of the vegetables that I've been eating. <laughs> Anyways, I think that I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison so that you guys can deduce if you see any differences. Obviously, this is the front. That's my stomach. And obviously, the booty. 
that was my video i hope you enjoyed it if you did like subscribe and also don't forget to leave any requests in the comments down below i always respond to comments also if you are interested in seeing my other workout videos i tried a lot of daisy keach workouts and chloe ting's workouts so if you want to see those videos go and check them out anyway i'll see you guys next time have a good evening bye